time certainly goes by so slowly that you really don't even get to see Elvis being that fat. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Elvis. You know what, actually? I think Baz did a decent job this time. I'm not entirely the biggest fan of his. I really enjoy Moulin Rouge. It's his best movie in my opinion, but that's because he really dips into that extravagancy, that over the top, over emotion, almost like a stage play if you want to put it that way but put into a theatrical setting with over the top camera movement over the top effects and stage work and acting he does that with elvis but a little bit more toned down if you can almost say he keeps the same over the top transitions and artistic movement between one scene to another very much in the kin that he's done over the years with his work, but unlike films like, say, Great Gatsby, he actually keeps himself in the realm for the most part. There's maybe one song that appears at one point that's like, well, what is this doing here? But otherwise, this is a really very admittedly formulaic, but very entertaining retelling of Elvis's rise to fame. Austin Butler just goddamn kills it. He is incredible. As Elvis. This kid, no wonder he's hot shit right now. He's gonna be in Dune Part 2. He's. He just forms into Elvis. He forms into this character that you've seen in TV movies, awful Christmas movies, uh, on stage plays, everything. He makes you believe why Elvis was such hot shit. And that is also in terms of how Baz shoots the reactions, especially the women, particularly the women's reactions to Elvis's wobbly knees, you see why he was as big as he was. You see why people loved him the way that they loved him. You see the reaction he had because of what he did. Now, admittedly for us in the 21st century, seeing a man wobble his legs may be a little bit tame in comparison to what we have for music nowadays. But like I said, this film really captures and really illustrates what made him so huge, what made him so iconic. At the time, not just from the music, but his personality and how he handled certain things. And then there is the other element of the Colonel, played by Tom Hanks. Now, admittedly, before this movie came out, I did not know who the Colonel was. And I always kind of wondered why Elvis made certain decisions that he did through his career and the Colonel is why. We see that he is a snake oil salesman. He is able to latch his hands into someone successful. And Jeremy Johns had actually a very good point about whenever there are successful people, there are those who will attach themselves to these people to leech off of them. And that is exactly what the Colonel is. The Colonel being played by Tom Hanks is actually a really good casting choice because we're so used to Tom Hanks being the lovable person that he is. So to see him as this leech, as this viper that sinks his fangs into the wallet, into the wealth, into the success that is Elvis to prosper himself. Maybe there was a few more elements of his treachery that I would have liked to have seen, but there is a moment in the film where Elvis tries to leave the Colonel. He actually tries to, and the Colonel is able to rack up a bill of every single thing that he has paid for in Elvis's name all the way back to when he was part of this traveling circus group. And that is when you see just how much power that the Colonel had over Elvis. This man was a nickel and dimer with everyone else's money but his own. But obviously this is a movie about Elvis and his music, right? So how is that? It's fantastic. They did a bunch of work with Austin singing a lot of Elvis's songs and then slightly towards the end of the film, they start to mix the two voices, a little bit of that AI algorithm stuff that they did with Rami Malek and Freddie Mercury for the Bohemian Rhapsody film. I really, I did enjoy Elvis. I think it's a fun movie. I think that those who are enthusiasts of his will enjoy it. Those who never knew who he was, you should. Or I also could suggest the John Rides Mathers uh, series that he did. I think it was for HBO or Showtime. Did those years back, but that's like a six episode series that you should watch. It was very well done. Just to see the rise of this guy, to see how he became just the icon, the legend the absolute powerhouse that Elvis was, and to see him die in his 40s, 
just to illustrate the effect that he had on the world and there's a very very beautiful ending where they show uh lo apparently this was lost footage and it got found a couple of years ago of his last performance of unchained melody and i've been listening to it almost on non-stop for the last few days like it's such a beautiful song and to show that even when this guy was fat as fuck very very unhealthy he could still bring the magic and the love for music that he had to his performance. Now, in terms of complaints, if there are any to have with this film, maybe it's probably just really formulaic. To say it's by the numbers is maybe a little bit too simple of a wording, but it is very formulaic in terms of other biopics you've seen. You're not gonna see anything different in terms of what you've seen from others, like Rocket Man and this movie are very similar in terms of how they come across, but it's Baz's artistic di directing and chauvinistic sort of style that will keep you entertained if that's something that you enjoy. So in the end, I'm gonna give Elvis a five out of seven. This is Baz's best movie, but I do think that's heavy handedly in part due to the source material and the character they're talking about and Austin Butler and Tom Hanks' performances. Still think it's fun though. Anyways guys, what did you guys think about Elvis? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you guys liked this review, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.